Yo, what's good guys, welcome back. I've been getting a lot of questions as to how do I pick my stocks. Um, it's nothing too crazy guys. I'll show you guys what I do from the basic standpoint. You're looking at the overall company, you know, just lightly. You're not going too into details like cash flows, income statements, balance sheets. We don't want to get into that right now, but this is the introductory level of looking into how I pick stocks. So let's go to the laptop and we're just gonna go on dividend.com and I will show you guys an example of a stock that I just bought last week and why I bought it. So let's check it out guys. Here I have my five basic things that I kind of look for when I'm picking a dividend stock for my dividend growth investing strategy. So we can go over them one by one and then I'll pull up an example and we're gonna get started right now. So the dividend yield right here is what I kind of look for right off the bat. Let's go into the example of Walgreens, the ticker symbol WBA with a price of $52.04. Here down below is the dividend yield at 3.43%. So I typically look for a dividend yield from 3% all the way up until 7% if I'm feeling a little risky. But usually 3 to 4% is a comfortable place that you should feel because that is you know, relatively safe uh, I would say it's really safe when it comes to dividend yields. So Walgreens Boots Alliance Inc. Everybody probably knows this stock. Um, you might know their competitor CVS. Uh, they're just like a drugstore chain all throughout the country. So and they're in the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones is the top 30 American businesses, and it kind of gives you a general you know sense of how the economy is doing. Now let's look at the second thing. So the payout ratio. You probably think this is French and it probably is to you because it's brand new. If we go down below the stock dividend data, the payout ratio is right here. So with an investment of $52.04 for buying one share, that could usually turn that money uh, into $5.86. So the dividend yield is 3%, which is good. And the payout ratio is 31.25%, which is excellent. So I like to look for a payout ratio of 60% or below the lower it is the better off we are for the dividend growth investing strategy as you can see if you do the number right here five dollars and 86 cents divided by one dollar and 83 cent then you will get the payout ratio of 31 percent so why this is good is because this has room to grow the annualized payout has room to grow which means that if the payout ratio now hits 40%, then you do the math on that, which means that the annual dividend would have increased, which means that we are getting paid more money per share that we hold, which is a good thing. And during the long run, when I am gonna be investing for 10, 20 years, hopefully, you know, when they keep on increasing this payout ratio, then the annualized payout is gonna be at $2, $3, Four dollars. You see what I'm saying? So you want to have a low starting out payout ratio. Third thing I like to see is the dividend growth. Now let's go back to the example from Walgreens and dividend growth is all the way over there on the far right. Now it says 44 years. What this means is that they've been increasing this annualized payout for the last 44 years back to back to back to back to back to back to back for 44 years. Now this is good, which means that it is stable and that they do continually increase the annualized payout, which means that they continually pay us investors and shareholders more free money. And we like to see that guys, this is very safe dividend and it is trading at a discount right now that's exactly why i bought into it and it checks off most of my key stock qualifications we got dividend yield check payout ratio check dividend growth check so already the stock is looking great the fourth thing i like to look at is the annualized growth in the last three years if we go back to the stock dividend data you want to scroll down until you see the annualized growth in the last three years. I just like to personally see that this number is positive. Usually if it is negative means that they have been decreasing or they have been cutting back on paying out their shareholders dividends, which is I don't like. We like to see the growth of a dividend. So they're in a positive 5.69%. I will take that and that is a good sign for me 
to understand the business is increasing their dividend payouts to their investors. Excellent. Pretty simple so far, right, guys? And then the last thing I like to see is the dividend payout history on a chart. Now, if you continue from growth history, go down some more, and you'll see dividend yield stock price history. It just you know, gives you a chart of how the price and yield is turning out. But right here is a dividend payout history. So I clicked on the five year, and five years ago today, or March 12th, it was at 33 cents, the dividend per share every quarter. And if you fast forward all the way up into December 12th, it has increased to 45 cents, which is amazing. And it is only at a payout ratio of 30%, which means it has about 70% to grow. So this one is a clear winner. No wonder why it is on the Dow Jones list. And this is a no brainer, especially if it's trading at a discount, which I then had bought shares of it. I think I had bought four shares of it at a discount price. And when I say discount price, it usually means that it's down on the year or on the three months or on the month. So guys, guys always kind of look at, you know, the Dow Jones list and see if there's any deals in the market currently. So this might scare a ton, a ton, a ton of people and, you know, makes them think that there are no deals in the market ever because this number is just so, so high. And I don't blame you guys. I am kind of scared too because everybody's getting greedy at this point. The Dow Jones been going up for, you can see on a five year mark, it's been going up for like almost 12 years now, just straight up with no sign of a correction. So I'm just waiting, uh, you know, investing every single week and saving my money on the side so that when this number does come crashing down, there are gonna be a lot of good deals. It's not gonna be scary for me because I have set aside money so that when it does crash and it does fall and prices does fall in my portfolio, I'll have money to buy what I bought these stocks at at an even lower price. That's the whole game, guys. If I had bought Walgreens, let's see over here, for $52 and I like the stock and everything checks out for me, if it goes down to $10, I'm going to be buying a boatload of that stock. It just makes sense. If I had bought four shares at $50, why would I not want to buy it at $10? You guys should ask yourself that question too. And if you say you don't want to buy it at $10, there is something wrong with you because you bought it at 50. You liked the you liked the company at 50 and you thought it was a deal at 50. So when it drops down to $10, you're going to want to rake it all up because the numbers checked out investor relations section of the company's page now the investor relations company page literally shows you you know balance sheets income statements cash flow statements it shows you everything that is for the more advanced investor i'm currently like learning how to get and read into these numbers and what they mean and stuff like that and to see if it is actually good not just you know looking at the basics so that's just a more in-depth you know you could find the 10ks and 8qs and guys if this is all foreign to you it was foreign to me just not you know a few years ago so it's the whole point of learning you know you just got to continue learning but if you ever want to look at the cash flow statements or income statements or balance sheets you just look up the company name and look up investor relations and it'll lead you to a page just like this so you can look at the numbers but guys, that is all I have for today. The dividend yield checked out, the payout ratio checked out, dividend growth checked out, annualized growth in the last three years checked out, and the dividend payout history checked out. This is exactly why I have bought this stock. And also it was trading at a little bit of a discount. So I have swooped up and picked up some shares and I'm probably going to be buying a lot more of this stock in the future. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please smash the like button so that other people on YouTube can see this video and start investing into the dividend growth investing strategy. If you do not like this strategy, guys, there's no right or wrong strategy out there in the world. It is just what works for you. There are companies that don't even pay a dividend, but people still make money off of those stocks. Don't let anybody tell you, you know, there's a right or wrong way to doing, you know, stocks. There's so many different ways you can make money in stocks. You just gotta find what's comfortable for you and what you would like to pursue. For me, I think that I'm just creating my portfolio for my future self so that I can continually take dividends from it 
every single year and kind of live off dividends. That's my that's my strategy. You don't have to be like me. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You can do whatever you want, guys. Thank you, guys. Remember, smash the like button and subscribe and have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.